Take this job and show it. Hello, this is S Radio, and I am Mike Baumgartner, your work-life survival sage, chief executive officer of the Work-Life Survival Center, your host. Give me a call, 304-867-4142. Again, 304-867-4142. If you've got a problem with your boss, you've got an issue with your company, you're having trouble finding a job, you want to talk about how you balance work and life that's what we talk about here on Job Cash Radio. You can also find me on Facebook. I have a fan page. You can also find me on Twitter, Job Cash Radio. And you can always shoot me an email, Mike, at JobCastRadio.com. It has been a while since we have talked, but there has been so much. Um, so let me go to the mail. I got an email from Andy, uh, and I'm really not sure where. But he says, hey, Mike, I was laid off last January and took a new job for $15,000 a year less than the old one. But I wanted the experience and have liked the work environment and the office environment until now. I was doing fine until my boss confided, as if it was nothing, that the uh, the born-again Christian administrator had asked her if I was gay, and she said yes. Not long after, my office was given to someone else, and I was crammed into a crowded, noisy space with this with a disruptive new hire who informs me proudly she is making almost $10 an hour more than me for the same type of job, which is a licensed professional. I am so angry and demoralized I don't know how to go on, but I don't want to put myself through another job hunt. I am, of course, getting blamed for having trouble doing my job in an environment where I can't even hear clients on the phone anymore. The whole feeling, oh, the whole thing feels like a setup for failure, and I don't know what to do. Uh, well, Andy, you've got, you've got a lot of different issues here. I'm going to try to take this apart a little bit. So you took a job that was paying less. That means that you uh, have a certain amount of knowledge and experience. You should know what that is. Obviously, it's you. Um, and there's a new hire who's making $10 an hour more than you. Uh, and, and what you're sort of implying here is that might be happening because they think that you are gay. Now, it doesn't say in the letter that you, that you, that you are gay or not. Um, and if you are or not, it, honestly, it really doesn't matter. Because if you are being treated as though you were gay and being discriminated against, whether you're gay or not, you're protected under the law. That's that's the great thing about our discrimination laws is you know but if you're treated as though you are a minority or a protected class, even whether you are a part of that protected class or not, you are protected. Now you're also implying that because the uh, born again Christian administrator asked if you were gay that you're being treated because she believes that you are gay. If you can prove that, if you can identify that, that is against the law. Now she. Uh, the born-again Christian administrator should not have asked, and your boss should not have answered that question. And this is where we start talking about a, a what I call duty to act, when people should be waving flags uh, to HR or to the powers that be within the organization. Number one, the administrator should not have asked. Doesn't matter. Has nothing to do with your job, and that is a big issue we'll get back to right after this break. And we are back from the break. We were talking about a letter that we got from Andy, who was uh, essentially saying that a uh, apparently an administrator had asked her boss if he was gay. Uh, And apparently the manager to Andy said, yes, I believe that Andy is gay. And as a result, Andy got moved into out out of his office, I, I guess, onto the sales floor. And that there is also a new hire who's been hired for $10 an hour more than Andy was making. And I was pointing out that there's a couple of bad things that has happened here. Number one, the the administrator, who uh, apparently is a Christian, had asked a boss if uh, if Andy was gay. And the manager answered that, yes. Uh, the manager should then have immediately, honestly, gone to HR or something, said that this is a, an incredibly inappropriate question to ask. The question should not have been answered. And as a result, whatever actions are happening after that make it look rather suspect. And that is not a good thing for this company. Uh, Andy, in my opinion, what I think you need to do is you need to sit down with HR. I I don't know that I would go to your manager at this point since uh, we have a couple of people, one of which is your manager involved in this, and outline that you have been told that somebody had asked whether or not you were gay and that that your manager had provided that particular answer. 
Um, and then just let that sit. Let them let them deal with that. They're going to have to conduct an investigation, get through that. Now, understand, blowing that kind of whistle can get you fired. It's against the law to do it. They shouldn't do it. It does happen. And I can understand the fear of not wanting to get back into a job search. But from what you're telling me, you've been moved out onto the floor. You're surrounded by people who are speaking loudly. And now they're noticing that your job, you're not doing it as well uh, because you are around people who are talking. You can't even hear your clients. So now your job performance is going down. Now, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that this could be a cascading event. I also know of employees who, when they begin to know that their performance is going down, they begin finding really good reasons why, such as a conversation about, you know, you're a protected class or they moved you to an office. Somebody's making more. Look, I think there are some issues here. I think you should talk to the company. If you have a way or if you know that specifically the decision to move you to the floor had to do with the desire to get you out of the organization because you happen to be gay, I would absolutely think about talking with an attorney. Now, as I have told many, many people before, going to an attorney, attorneys are like atomic bombs, okay? Everybody's got one, use it, and it just screws everything up. Uh, the only one who's going to make a lot of money is going to be the attorney. However, this is a situation where the company, get, look, give them an opportunity to resolve the problem. Tell them what has happened. Be precise. Make sure you have notes, names, dates, places, and quotes. And then say, you know, you need to explain to me how this is not all linked together. It may be just a coincidence. They may have moved several people to the floor. That could have been a business decision necessary to free up an office. They may think that people who are working in the same job are, are better working in, in, a, in, a, in an area together. Uh, it is not unreasonable to ask why a new hire is being paid more than you. I would certainly take a look at that. If that new hire has more experience than you, that's it. That's just the way that it is. If the experience is the same, if this is a person who has longer tenure in the organization, it is not an unjustified question how two people in the same job doing the same thing with relatively the same background, why one is paid more than the other um, is something that you would definitely want to ask. However, you know, in, in the letter that you've written me, um, it, it, I, you know, they hired it. They hired you at the price that you agreed to, and the next person negotiated a better deal. That's my guess. So, if you got more questions, by all means, give me a shout. 304-867-4142. 304-867-4142. And Andy, I'll be glad to talk to you a little bit more about that. More on this after the break. Got a hard break coming up. I am Mike Baumgartner, the Chief Executive Officer of the Work Life Survival Center. Your host. Give me a call, 304-867-4142, or you can shoot me an email, mike at jobcashradio.com. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook, and you can find me on my website, jobcashradio.com. We'll be right back. Take this job and shut. 